Anybody have a t-shirt? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're all right. By the way, I was on test for the other. Say again? I was on test for the other. Pasha correction. In the exam? Yeah. In the denominator? Yeah. Oh no, 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 it could be cubic. In the exam. In fact, I'm sorry to tell you, it's actually usually cubic in the exam. <laughs> All right, let's continue now. So, last lesson we looked at proper. Now we're going to have a look at improper. So much of tape. Right? This uh, is yeah. another word. Do you feel like uh, it'll be too much to do another one? Do you just want to continue working on these? Yeah. No, I'm not ready for one hour. But what, is it like the same difficult for that Look deep inside your heart and tell me what you think the answer will be. I can go on. <laughs> uh, continue or do you want to practice these a bit longer? We can't skip the lesson. We need to do this one next. We can't come back to it because the next three lessons use this. Look! It's not going to be as hard as you think. It's just going to be a little bit harder. But I only need to do the extra piece because what you'll discover is the improper problems, we can actually change them into proper problems. So what you're going to learn in this lesson is how to simplify it into a proper problem. So for the improper ones, uh, you have a degree n and a degree m and the n should be bigger than or equal to yeah. m. So don't worry, Lee. I'll let you try some more. I actually just need to do one example with you because the reason I only need to do one example is it gives you the idea on how to simplify and then that's it. Easy peasy. Well, easy peasy is... Not so easy peasy. Okay, can I scroll down? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lee, actually, can you just read out the question 1a? We'll do that as an example. Yeah. 2x cubed. Yeah. Minus 7x squared. Yeah. Minus 14x. 14? Yeah, 14x. Uh, minus 23. Divided by... Is it a power 4? No, it's a... Oh, quadratic, is it? Yeah, it's a quadratic. Yeah. X squared. Minus 4x. Okay. So, as I promised, I don't think I promised, but as I said, this is an improper problem. How do we deal with this? The same way as a proper, except we have to change it into a proper first. And how can we do that? Well, there's actually a trick here for doing that. Uh, but before we do the trick, a uh, reminder of something from basic math. If I said 25 goes into 109 four times and the remainder is 9, you can say, it's true to say, that 109 equals 25 times 4 plus 9. That this will be this times this plus this, yeah. That's true to say. Okay, so keep that in mind. Back to the question. Back to the question, though. So, divide, yeah. So we have x squared minus 4x minus 5 divided into 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 14x minus 23. So what do we have here? Uh, 2x 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 10x, right? Yeah. Minus 3x squared minus 4x minus 23. Yeah. What? Minus 8x squared? Oh, here, sorry. Thank you. 8x here, yeah? Okay, try again. Gone. What? X squared minus 4x 
Minus 23. Okay, what do I need next? Uh, Just one, one actually. One. Remainder? Minus uh, 18. So, you can say that this problem equals x squared minus 4x minus 5 times 2x plus 1 minus 18 over x squared minus 4x minus 5. And you might say, well, that didn't make it any easier, or did it? Let's have a look. Can I move to the right? Yes? No, I see people writing. Andrew? Yes. Yeah. Well, let's take each of these two and divide it by the quadratic. So this piece over this piece, what am I left with? Uh, one. Minus 18 over x squared minus 4x minus 5. Here we are done. If you want to be technical, it's like this is over 1. So you're done here. And this one, we did this in the last class. In other words, by using long division, we can go from improper into easy plus proper. So we are happy here and then we have a new problem to do here. And that's it. The whole lesson will be basically using long division to change an improper into a proper and then it's the same as the last lesson. So then what you do is you look at this on a it's uh, like an extra piece of paper or a new page. You go through this, you get the answer, and then you put it back here. And then that's the same as what we just did in the last class. So it's harder only because it's longer. Not that there's any new things in it really. Uh, and again, Monica was asking me, why is this related to integration? Well, if you look at it now, integrating this is very hard, but integrating this is very easy, and integrating the two that you get here will also be very easy. They might both be logs or something like that. So this is the purpose of doing this. Yeah. So I think practice, practice, practice is what we'll need to do now. So let's practice more of these. Um, you have a choice. You can work on the last lesson or this lesson, but you realize in both lessons you're doing the same thing, except for the long division. So whichever you prefer, you can work on now. Yeah. Zoom out. How much? The whole page. That is the whole page, isn't it? I'll tell you right now actually, I'll open up an exam question. Oh wait, well I'll just let people write this down first. Um, six marks? I don't know. I'll check. I'll check. Just let me know, KJ, when I think of the question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
not the part one, I don't want that. Jerry, I have an answer to your question. So here you can see in this exam they said write this in this form. Yeah. Now um, they kind of did this in a little bit of a silly way. Not not silly, but I would have put these two together as one. So I would have written it like this. Um, 5x squared minus x plus 2 over, and this here is x minus 1, x squared plus 1. So I would have said this is two factors, x minus 1 and x squared plus 1. This is linear, so this here should be constant. This is quadratic so up here should be linear now uh, KJ nearly tricked me with this to be really particular about it it's plus 0x yeah because it's how many constants do I need to define the denominator so I, I, I have two constants like for example Imagine this. I told you I have a quadratic and two of the coefficients are 1. Do you know what the quadratic is? No, because it could be x squared plus x or x squared plus 1. So I do actually need 3 to define what the quadratic is. But if I told you I have a, a, I don't know, a quadratic, but it's because it's a square, a perfect square, how many constants do I need to tell you now? I don't need to tell you 3. I only need to tell you 2. Uh, so, here is 3, so this is 2, so that's good. And this is 2, and that's 1, so that's good. So that's a over x minus 1 plus bx plus c over x squared plus 1. You notice in the exam, they split the bx and the c into 2, which is fine. You just took this and split into 2. I, I don't know why they did that. You don't need to do that. It's not necessary. It makes it look longer. It's actually shorter than it is. So in this question, Jerry, they actually told you how to write it. And so you only get four marks. Four marks for this. Yeah. Are you trying these, Jerry? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I close this page? Yeah.